Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I return to source. I return to center. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay. All negative and evil plans of your enemies against you are being dismantled. They are dismantled. Anything the enemy has stolen from you, is trying to steal from you, is being returned to you. Okay. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So really quickly, this morning when I woke up, what was this, like around 6 or 7 o'clock this morning? So I'm laying there. And I had a vision of a woman, and she's, I think, like, laying in a casket. But this person I saw, I was seeing her in a past life. Um, but this is someone that is either sick now, um, or just, I guess, not doing well, passing away or something like that. But when I saw her, it was in, like, one of those, um, those European monarchs doing those time time frames all right it was one of doing one of those times like this woman had passed away they had her laying in her casket what it was it wasn't really a casket it was like a, a table and she was laying on there they were prepping her for burial um she was very petite it was a caucasian woman she was very petite um it looked like she were, had passed away from a uh, like a disease or something because I think during the era that I was seeing her, people were technically supposed to be a little bit more starky like than that. Even the women were a little starky um, in stature. But this woman was very petite, black, short hair. It kind of stopped like right below her ears. Um, but just very petite, petite. She was in like all gray, like a gray gown. They had put on her, like they had cleaned her up very well. And she was laying on the table. They had her hand crossed. Um, like, I think on her chest. You know that when, when they do, yeah, they cross, they like on her chest. Um, but she was dead on the table. And behind her, it was like a fire, like a fireplace that was like lit. Um, but the space around her, her was very big. I don't know if there was like a ceremony going on because like in the next scene, I see a woman with a red veil on, like the, the veil is red, but on the top of it, there's white, there's white lace on top of the veil, right? So I think maybe they were having some type of ceremony for her death, um, which reminded me when I saw this car, when I was shuffling my deck and this car came out, that reminded me of that vision. So someone is more than likely passing away or has passed away. Um, and I think I've been seeing this in my messages a lot, like a Queen of Pentacles passing away. With this ten of this Eight of Swords out here in the reverse, that means that someone has kind of either sh this woman accepted her fate is what this is. Um, I think she was either dealing with some type of illness and she was taking a lot of actions to kind of prevent herself from passing away from dying. But I think with this Eight of Swords out here, she has accepted her reality. Like, this is the end of the road because the four swords in reverse usually has to do with someone being disease ridden, someone being very sick, they're not recovering. If it was in the upright, then it would be something that has to do with healing. Like, let's see, let's see what this is. It says, after illness or battle, when it's in the upright, all right, reclusive, repose, withdrawal, negative, relaxation, knee recuperation, recovery, period. So, if it was in the upright, then she would be recovering. But with it in the reverse, it says disease rating, stuck, exhaustion, no time of inadequate recovery, uh, restlessness, difficult to relax, spiritual healing, right? So someone is probably possibly not recovering from an illness that they've acquired. This could be like someone with maybe cancer. Someone has something that has taken over maybe their body um, is what I'm seeing. Maybe it's maybe this is something they may have had before and they were able to beat it, but then it has returned. And what I'm hearing as well is that this is someone who 
the fact that she may have uh, uh, beat this disease before, that was the universe giving her like a second chance at life. Maybe then she was on her last leg, but they were giving her a second chance at life because someone may be very cold hearted, very malicious, and they were giving her this chance to kind of do better, do right, fix her wrongs and things like that. But someone is very, she's very, uh, um, someone is very spiteful, very malicious at heart. Um, so I don't think she's going to be recovering this time around and she may be passing away. Maybe I saw her in her past life. She may have had the same thing, the same disease. And I don't think she realized that in this lifetime, she was supposed to learn how to overcome hate because a lot of the illnesses we get, we uh, uh, um, we contract, it's because of unhealed emotions, us holding things in, right? Anger, animosity, uh, hate, and things like that, right? Holding on to those n intensively negative energies is what leads to us having these kind of illnesses, these terminal illnesses that have... It just kind of tend to tick over your body. And the more time you spend being angry and bitter and malicious, the more the disease progresses and people don't know that. Um, and you know, with cancer, I think a lot of people tend to even pass away from the treatment that they're receiving, like the chemo. They don't really pass away from the disease itself. They tend to pass away from the treatment that they're receiving because it's so harsh on the body, the cells, the mind, everything, right? So someone had a chance this lifetime to do better, to change something, to change her destiny, but she had too much hate in her heart. So because this it of source is out here, this means that she has accepted her fate and she knows that this is kind of the end of the road for her. Um, so let's see if we can get more clarity. Yeah, this is judgment. This is judgment. Dang. Dang. You see what the you see what's here? Like I literally split the deck and this is what came out. Someone was very cold hearted. She may have even stolen from someone or some people, but someone did it very in a very cunning way that you wouldn't suspect her to be a thief. This is someone when you see them, you would think like they are a pillar of the community. Like they are someone that is a role model, things like that. But apparently she's not. Her ending is judgment because she didn't do what she was supposed to do. And her beating that illness the first time was the universe giving her another chance to fix her contract to oblige to her contract like you're supposed to be healing this lifetime you're supposed to be learning from your mistake that you made in a past lifetime and if this a, a card is showing out here this is someone that was into dark work so she understood the ramifications of her actions and this is why people need to be mindful it's a cute and he he ha ha when you are trying to destroy someone else's life or other people's life but there are always repercussions for those behaviors this is why sometimes you don't know why all of a sudden you get a disease or someone passes away in your family that's really close to you. It's because of the things you're doing to other people. So the universe wants to make sure that you feel the same pain that you either cause someone else or that you try to cause someone else. Okay, so that's what it will do sometimes. It's very imperative for us to start focusing on ourselves and healing and leaving other people alone. Leaving other people alone. I'm telling you. I don't know why people that reside in negative energies never tend to understand this. This is why you all, you all are never happy in life. Everything you do, you're having to look over your shoulder wondering if someone knows what you did. Is this going to come out? That's because you're living an unfulfilling life. You're not residing in the best as the best version of yourself. Okay, you're not healing, you're not recovering. There could also be a masculine that's around some people that aren't exactly good for him, and he's having a hard time healing and staying healed. I see him in here as well. Someone is having a hard time healing, and this woman, her passing away, unfortunately, she's passing away, but her her ending is like the beginning 
for someone else because she was blocking someone else's forward movement. And this is this is crazy. People don't think about the outcome of what they're doing. They think they have everything. These are people that will, you know, behind the scenes, plan everything out to destroy someone else's life or block someone else, not realizing they are like out in the open the whole time and the universe is watching them. Like the people in the physical may not be may not know exactly what you're doing, but you always have beings twenty four seven watching what you're doing. And so whatever you're doing is never hidden. It's always going to be exposed. And this is, I'm telling you, it'll always be exposed to the public what you're doing. And this could be someone who, who when she passes away, if she hasn't already, people are going to be saying, oh, she was such a sweetheart. Oh my gosh, gosh, how could something like that happen to someone so nice and someone so sweet? But behind the scenes, this person was not a sweetheart. This is someone that was very manipulative, very dark. I'm telling you, <laughs> judgment. Her passing away is a new start, a fresh start for someone else. Because someone had a vendetta against another person to block them. And she could have been blocking people. Yeah, she was interfering with judge justice. She was interfering with someone getting justice in their life. Lord have mercy. It is never that serious. Can you imagine uh, um, beating something like cancer and then instead of you being grateful for your life and making sure that you're doing what you need to do to live a fulfilling life, you instead decide to be someone wicked and block other people, reside from negativity. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone is out of here. Someone is not able to manifest anything anymore. This is so sad. It's just so depressing. This isn't the message I was wanting to have, but I mean, this is the one that needs to come out. Someone is not able to manifest anything in her or his life anymore because it's the end. Okay. Someone was very greedy, very superficial, whatever plans they had to cause someone else an ending. They're not able to manifest that because they're not able to pay people anymore. People may not be accepting money from them anymore. There's just something that's not being, that someone is not able to heal and recover. And something is up with their finances as well. They're not able to recover their finances. They've lost a lot of money, maybe investing in the wrong things. Mm. It is never that serious to be that malicious. <laughs> I'm telling you. There, there is nothing good going on for this person. It's never that serious. It is never this serious to be this malicious that even when you're sick, you're still more focused on hitting someone else simply because of jealousy and insecurities. It's never that serious. There are people that have passed away from diseases that they were probably hoping they were still here and then you acquired the thing, the same disease and you're saved from it the first time and then instead of you focusing your attention on something positive, you decide to block opportunities for people or someone, you decide to just block someone's forward movement, your elevation and everything. Like what is wrong with you? And you think you're gonna get away with that. You never get away with something like that. The universe will just let you go to a certain extent and then they'll say, okay, so obviously you're not here to fulfill your contract We've been patient, and patient with you long enough, so it's the end of the road for you. But whatever they were trying to do to you, collected, whether it's cause you some type of, um, uh, bring some type of legal issues to you, they they're not able to do that. They cannot cause your ending, nothing. Okay, instead of you going through all of that, they're the ones going through it. Someone has some type of, I don't know if she had like secret enemies again, uh, around her, or she didn't realize that she was under surveillance. I said secret enemies. Here's the moon. Someone had enemies around them. Someone had enemies around them or maybe just people watching her and seeing that she was not who she was saying that she was. Or they just caught on to something that she was doing. This could be someone that's very critical of other people. But 
she's in denial of who she really is and people possibly saw her for who she really was um but I don't know if they're going to like expose that. They may with this fool out here, someone's gonna get exposed. This could be a masculine as well that's going through this. I think I mentioned a masculine that's having a hard time recovering. And it's because of the people he's around. And the longer you stay around those people, you're not going to be able to recover. I'm telling you, you're around toxic people. And this is why you're having a hard time healing. The three of swords of right has to do with turmoil, difficulties, uh, unable to heal, things like that. If it was in the reverse, then someone will be able to heal. But because of the people you are around, sir, this is why you're having a hard time healing. They don't have any good intentions for you. At all, at all. You're trying to do something right in your life. I said something right. Oh my gosh. You're trying to do something right in your life. And these people are talking you out of it. You're trying to take some type of new path because I keep seeing the fool popping popping out every time I shuffle my deck uh, or split my deck. You're trying to take a new path right in life. Step out on faith. Step out on hope. But you are surrounded by toxic people and they keep talking you out of that. I'm telling you the God's honest truth. You're trying to take control of your life, right? Have some type of very new passionate beginning in life. And people, the people around you are not allowing that because of jealousy envy hate and all of that right they know what you're trying to do but they don't want you doing that and and as long as you stay around these people you're not going to heal you may end up passing away yourself or you may just lose your minds there's something about your mental so you could have some type of mental issue that's going on with you with this eight of swords and four of swords out here there's something about your mental people play with your mental a lot you are being get kept there's a lot of gatekeeping that's going on around you. And I don't know if you know that, but you're supposed to be venturing out to have a new beginning somewhere else. Okay? I'm telling you, you're around toxic people. And maybe you see the truth about them now and you're still with them. But that's you. I'm telling you. You see this? The moment you decide to take a new... Like have a new approach to how you are doing things, open, being open-minded... Taking that risk with pure intentions in your heart and things like that is going to work out for you. A ten of pentacles. This is like you building an empire with another part, part with a partner, and it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be a business partner. It can be a business partner. I'm also getting that someone is trying to free themselves from some type of bondage or something, and. There could be someone else behind the scenes trying to block some type of offer from being made, whether it's in work or something like that. There are people behind the scenes trying to block offers from being made to someone because they want to either have you in prison or have you dead. Like they want you out of here. They want to have you on alive. So they're doing a lot of things to block your forward movement. They don't want you receiving any offers or things like that. But just know these people are receiving their karma behind the scenes. Right, you may not know what's going on, but someone is going through some type of ending. And this is all because they yeah, honey, everything is coming out in the reverse. Someone is not healing. Someone is unable to recover. Someone is in some type of situation, whether it's a position with an institution or a business or relationship. It's not something that's fulfilling for them. So they may be leaving that position to go somewhere else. And people are behind the scenes trying to block them, but they can't block this person anymore. You're free to go, basically. The Ace of Cups in reverse is a materialistic unhappiness. Thank you. Repressed spirituality, uh, promiscuity, overindulgence, unstable desires. I'm telling you, wherever this person is in work, in relationship, they're not feeling fulfilled and someone is unable to heal. And this is all because of karma. That's it. They're not, oh my gosh. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. These two could be working together behind the scenes. Yeah. I'm telling you, and a Queen King of Swords. They're all working together. Unhappy, feeling unfulfilled because things are not going their way. This is that people making sure like something goes in their favor, but it's not going in their favor. It's not going in their favor. This is so depressing. 
Yeah, and you're free to go. I'm telling you, you are free to go. There could be a king of swords in here that's freeing himself as well. This could be the person that has been sick or something. This is so depressing. I'm so sorry. This is so depressing. Um, Yeah, you're free to go, collective. Whatever this is, you're free to go. Like, you're going to be partnering up with the people. I said partnering up, and the four of wands is out here. You're... You're free to go. I'm telling you, go for it. Whatever you're wanting to go for, go for it. Right? You're going to be partnering up with the right people, places, and things so that you can elevate in life. Whatever these people are trying to block you from receiving, right? It was probably not meant for you. That's probably how source, how a source had it set up. Yeah, partnering up with, with people and having success in life. you could have a king of swords that wants to have some type of victory with you maybe there are two women in his energy trying to tuck him out of it i don't know what this is but we're going to get clarity on it something is just not i don't know something is not right i feel i feel like i'm getting the story for different characters in here like this queen of pentacles whoever she is she's not recovering she's unable to heal there's a king of swords that could be working with a queen of wands and they're going through some type of uh, stagnation. They're stuck in something they cannot get out of. Like someone is not able to recover. They thought they had victory, right? In blocking someone or causing someone an ending, but it looks like that's what they're going through. Yeah, and it was, yeah, I'm telling you. Like, they had a wish to block your fulfillment. Like, they don't want you receiving something. You see this here? Their wish was to block you from receiving some type of opportunity, some type of offer, whether it was financial, business, position, love, whatever it was. These people didn't want you receiving it. And they thought they had done everything to block you and someone from working together, you and someone from getting together. They thought they had blocked all avenues for you. But it looks like it's not. You are free to go. Like, you're literally free to go there. They can't do nothing to you. And it's like every time they try to block you, I'm telling you, you're still going to get it. Every time they try to block you, they end up blocking themselves. Like, if they make you lose something, they lose something even bigger or something bigger or more important to them. And I'm just using this as an example. Let's say someone takes, let's say someone steals uh, $50 from you. Well, the next day, a little later, they may end up losing like $500. This is what's happening to these people behind the scenes. Like they're going through money problems. Someone is overindulging in things that they should not be indulging into. I don't, listen, this is, yes, this is crazy. What in the world? How, how committed do you have to be that you're going through an ending, trying to cause someone else an ending? These cards keep flying. Yeah. How you're going through an ending, right? If you're trying to end someone and every time you do something to them, it leads to some type of loss for you, you should stop doing that. That's a special kind of stupid. That is a special kind of stupid. To have that much hate and confusion in your within yourself. That every time you try to destroy someone, you're destroying yourself. But you want to keep going because you have a point of proof that you'll never be able to prove. This is all greed. This is all about greed. That's what I'm seeing here. This is all about greed. Someone having some type of misconception about another energy. Or a group of people having some type of misconception about an, a specific energy. It's something like that. And these people are idiotic enough to participate in some type of low lower vibrational activities it's like I, I don't even know what this is it's like these people have made you their purpose in life they've given you all of their power out of these people like they think breathe s-h-i-t-u everything like these people are obsessed with you obsessed it don't make no sense to be this obsessed with another person. 
Your life cannot be that uh, bland, that boring, that insignificant, that you will give all of your power to someone else. Waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning to stalk someone online. Uh, calling someone up to have some type of stupid conversation with them. You don't realize that they know what you're doing, but you think you're getting some type of thrill out of it. But the person is really laughing at you on the other end. Like that you two hang up and the person you're trying to harass is laughing at you because you're so stupid. This is a, a special kind of stupid. I'm sorry I keep saying that. But what I'm getting from here, this is like a special kind of stupid for people that are indulging, that are involved in this. And you're still going to have victory over them. This is like people laughing ha 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 at you. Not realizing that you already got the last laugh. So in reality, they really look stupid. You're still gonna have wish fulfillment. Like you're not, you're not trapped. Some like you have assistance that's gonna come in in some way, shape, or form, because this is how the universe has it set up. This is a, there's a, some type of contract going on here, and it's playing out like it's supposed to. So you are destined to have the last laugh against your enemies, and they don't know that. The six of wands out here has to do with you defeating your enemies. Like you see, this man is sitting on his horse and stuff. Behind him are all angry people that are mean mugging him, looking annoyed and agitated. Yeah, they have their stick up, but he's the one on the horse with this, uh, uh, I forgot what they call this uh, ring, this round thing. He's the victorious one. And you see he has it on his head as well. He's the victorious one. So he defeated all of these people, which means that you're going to defeat all of your enemies. You will acquire what is yours and you will have wish fulfillment and you'll be having to start a brand new start, some type of new opportunity somewhere. You already have foresight of the situation. Like you already know what people are doing behind the scenes, the actions they're taking. This is this may be why a lot of you don't even react when these people are, are being immature because you already know how it's going to play out. This is like you knowing every time someone calls you, you know why they're calling. Every time your phone rings, you know why it's ringing. Every time uh, um, someone says something, you know why they're saying it, how they're saying it. It's like they're trying to get some type of reaction out of you. Someone is desperate to get a reaction out of another energy, but they're not getting the reaction that they want. They're not getting the reaction that they want and they're getting frustrated behind the scenes because someone has a point to prove. They may have told people you were a specific way and you're not showing up that way in the in the world and it's pissing them off. So they keep trying, but someone has to let go. There's someone that's dying in this group. Now it's coming together. It's dying in this group. This is not a happy message. Someone is literally dying in a group. And she probably didn't even tell people how sick she was or how sick she had gotten. Man. Someone may want to come and offer you some type of friendship. They want someone from the past may be coming in to offer you some type of friendship. I don't know. Huh, I don't know about that. Be just be vigilant about it. Be vigilant. Mm. Uh, yeah there's someone here who is being seen for exactly who she is this is not someone nurturing this is not someone in the upright this is not someone that's a privileged lady that is respectable this is not someone respectable this is someone that plays with people emotions and things like that right to get what she wants out of you this is not someone like this genuine. And there are a few women in here too that are the same way. There could be a mother character in here that's the same way. She could be, listen, these women, they have endings coming that they can't even predict. There's something about like, I don't know if it's her son or her husband that's leaving her. And she may want to approach you to say something to you. Maybe talk down about him to you. Meanwhile, you probably don't even know these people. Can you imagine someone coming after you and you don't even know them? That is so stupid. 
You don't even know these people. Maybe you interacted with one or two of them out of this group. This is a special kind of stupid. What I'm hearing is that someone thinks either her husband or ex-husband likes you. So she's intimidated by you. She's trying to block something from happening, either him connecting with you or something like that. He's leaving her. So she may want to come to you to come put nonsense in your head and your ears about a man that you've never been with, you don't communicate with, probably don't even know much about something like that, or you two are just not that familiar with each other. Maybe spiritually you two are familiar with one another. Yeah, I'm telling you. These women are going through endings. You see this ten of swords out here? Endings. Someone is going through an ending. This I don't know who this queen of wands is. Oh my gosh, I said ending and the death card is out here. These people are going through endings. I don't know who this queen of wands is, but whatever she did, maybe listen to the wrong person. It's not looking good for her. She, they may have taken some type of action to interfere with some type of communication. Someone has been interfering with communication for a long time. A long time. And that's because they want things to go in their favor. I'm telling you, a long time causing illusions, trying to keep track of everything. But she missed some something, I guess. Someone is very superficial. Superficial is what I'm hearing. Whoever this queen of pentacles is, that is someone so in, so disingenuine. I'm telling you, you're free to go. You're, you're protected. You're being seen for who you are. But this queen of pentacles here is disingenuine as can be. Do not accept any friendship from this woman because there's some type of ulterior motive to her. This could be someone's wife, someone's mother, baby mama, whoever this is. Someone is not good at business is what I'm hearing as well. Mm. Yeah. Like stand your ground, protect yourself. Hmm. Whoever is going through this loss, oh my gosh, this person is in so much fear and anxiety. So much fear and anxiety. They've lost a lot of money. Someone is having to like be very careful with how much money they're spending on stuff. Someone spends very recklessly as well. That's because she likes to look good or he likes to look good. Someone like depleted their finances. They thought they had some type of money coming in. They're not having, the money is not coming. Like their future is not as bright as they thought it would be. Mm. There's a whole, I don't know like if it's a war that's going on behind the scenes for some of you and you don't even know it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm telling you. The future is not as bright as they thought it was. Someone may have spent a lot of money that they didn't have. It's like you swiping your credit card, swiping your credit card, swiping your credit card. And you're like, oh, I'm going to have some money coming in next week. I'll be able to pay. And then they tell you, no, you're not getting that. It's not yours or you can't have it. We're denying you. That's what someone is going through. From the financial standpoint, that's what they're going through. They spent the money they didn't have. All of these people are going through disappointments behind the scenes. Yeah, this, honey, I can't, I can't, I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lot. These people are going through disappointments behind the scenes. 
because of actions they took against you. This is why they're going through this. And when you meet them, I'm telling you, honey, disappointments, people feel trapped in something they want to get out of. They can't get out of something like that. People may have invested money into whatever this is and it's not coming out like they thought it would. They thought you were done. This is like counting the underdog out. You think you have the rabbit trap, somehow the rabbit gets the gun and now you're living in fear. This is what this is. Hmm. There's a whole quote, a clothing institution, dark institution that is living in some type of fear right now because of something they did. They all got into cahoots. And there's a leader in here that is going through an ending. Yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> listen. Your wish is still coming through collective. There's someone behind the scenes that's very protective of you. They're defending you. They're heartbroken about hearing something that you're going through or someone something someone did to you. It's all being exposed. Like someone is not able to lie anymore. This is like someone dragging out a situation longer than it needs to be. That's because they told so many lies. They have to keep care. You, if you, if you tell one lie, then you have to tell the next lie and then the next lie, the next lie, the next. You got to keep lying until, you know, the, the journey is done. But you know when you're lying, there's no finish line. You got to keep going with that lie. But someone has told so many lies, they've forgotten a lot of the lies that they told about a star seed, a healer. So they're all over the place now. Now when they say something, they say, hey, I thought you told me she did this. Now you're telling me she didn't do that, she, that she actually did this. Which one is it? Someone can't keep their lies straight. But there's someone behind the scenes that's advocating for you. They may be waiting for the right time. I don't know, to approach you or something like that. Bring something to your attention. There's something like that going on. Someone is very intimidated by a star seed, like a, a light being. They're very intimidated by you. And people don't understand this is why they're going out of their way to try to destroy you. They're very intimidated by you. Absolutely intimidated. They don't like the fact that you are actually genuine. They have to pretend to be genuine. You don't have to. You're healed. They're not. They have to pretend to be healed. Uh-huh. Wow, there's a couple in here, the king, the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Now, they don't have to be a couple romantically, but they had some type of, I don't know if it's a friends with benefits relationship going on here. If they are together, she don't like him, genuinely. She's in there for some type of financial benefits. She may have partnered up with this man just to take you down. Or maybe this is the husband that she thinks is coming towards you when you maybe don't even, you don't communicate with this person. I don't, I don't, like, with this car here in between the two of you, I'm not getting like a romantic relationship. This is business. This is a business relationship if there is one. He has some type of relationship with her that is based on emotions, affection, something like that. It's not genuine. They're not, they're, they're not in love with one another. But the relationship between you and this man is strictly business. It's business. He's, I think he's either making some type of decision to give you an offer or something like that. And this woman is intimidated by you. It's something like that going on, but there's no romantic, there's nothing romantic going on between you and this person. This is like someone that wants you know, to let a masculine go because she benefits from him financially. She benefits from him financially and someone just betrayed your friends. They don't know that. <laughs> 
I'm telling you, there's a there's a war going on behind the scenes. People are betraying each other. You may not know it, but there's something going on behind the scenes with these people. And someone betrayed the friendship group. Someone betrayed the friendship group. Sure, I'm telling you. Something is exposed. Someone is going to be exposing something to you. And this is why someone has been trying to block a message from coming in. Blocking an email, text message, calls, whatever, DMs, mail. Someone has been interfering with communication so you don't receive a message. Someone's secret is exposed. Someone is going to tell you exactly what role people were playing in a situation. What the plan was for you. They could have had a plan to unalive you or something like that have you in prison for something someone is going to tell you the truth whoever if someone in here has emotions for you they're not hiding it anymore they see you as a good friend basically they do want to reconnect someone is like there's a masculine in here he's just fed up he don't care anymore he's i don't care if you if you know that i want to be friends with this person want to work with this person want to partner up with this person i don't care what you think he's doing what he wants to like, it's not a secret anymore. It's exposed. There was some type of partnership as well going on behind the scenes. A toxic one or toxic ones. They're all exposed. Like, the, sec the, the secret, there's no secret. There's no secret. There is no secret. There's a whole lot of confusion going on behind the scenes. And there's a confusion going on. There's confusion going on behind the scenes because someone has been telling a lot of lies. Someone's telling people different stories, but they think they're covering the tracks. Someone is very messy, 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 messy. They're very messy. It's like people coming after you, you you free yourself from some type of bondage or something. And then when you're supposed to receive some type of offer, they block that. A promotion, they block that. Position, they block that. They don't want you having any type of love. Nothing like that. They don't want you staying focused, standing your ground. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But someone is absolutely freeing themselves from a connection, from a relationship, from a group. There could be some type of divorce going on behind the scenes. And someone is heartbroken about all of this being exposed. The truth is being exposed. I'm telling you, the truth is exposed. Uh, how long do you think a lie is going to go on for? How long, especially with so many people involved, it's not. It's not. I'm telling you, the truth is exposed. It's exposed. Something is being looked into because someone has told too many lies. Someone could have sent you an offer and you didn't respond because someone went in and deleted a message. Like someone has literally been waiting for you to respond to them. You're not going to because someone deleted the message. Someone is committing a lot of crimes behind the scenes to block some type of communication or offer from me giving to someone. But you're still going to receive it, Collective. You're still going to receive it. I'm telling you, you're still going to receive it. Your, your business, whatever you do, whoever you're about to partner up with, is going to be successful. But you're going to have multiple streams of income. You're going to be building a whole legacy. I'm telling you, someone is trying to steal. 
someone stole something or tried to steal something, they cannot, whether it was a relationship, business offer, job offer, promotion, they can't keep it. They cannot keep it. I'm telling you, they cannot keep it. Someone knows of your work. Like someone found you already. Like this is like people trying to hide you, but they can't hide you. Someone has seen you already. They admire your work. They want to partner up with you. They've decided they're going to partner up with you. So this man may come in and offer you some type of gesture or friendship. And it's going to go from there. It's going to go from there. Like someone wants to give to you, I'm telling you, justice. Literally, I said justice and the justice card came out. Mm. Something is being looked into. There's, a, there's an investigation going on here around a group of people. They don't know that. A group of people don't know that, I'm telling you, a group of people don't know that there's an investigation going on. They're being monitored. Your phones, your emails, text messages, phone calls, everything is being monitored. And you all thought you had the power. 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 No, you did not. You did not. You all have been being looked into. A whole group of people has been being looked into. And you all thought you were being discreet. You're going to have to move on. Whoever this man is that's separating himself from this group, this woman, whatever. Yeah, this person is taking charge of their life and moving on. Like someone wants to heal. He wants to heal and he's having a hard time healing around these people. He's having a hard time recovering. Like this is someone trying to fix their mind, heal their mind, see life from a different perspective, right? Grow, ascend, and elevate. But because of the people that's around him, they're keeping him stuck. Like every time he has some type of victory, they come back and put him in his mind, keep him stuck. They say, you, you don't want that. We've already told you what he's like. We already told you what she's like. Don't make them that offer. Don't make them that offer. And they've been blocking communication, stopping communications. So, <laughs> that man may be getting creative for something. Everybody's creative. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, someone is moving on. He wants to have a genuine connection. It's causing a, a ruckus amongst these people. Why is someone taking charge of their life and moving on to heal, to get away from you all? Why is that a problem? Like, you all know you're toxic. It's not like these people don't know they're toxic. It's not like they don't know they're the problem. They know. Dark workers always know. They know the problem is they live in denial. They like to pretend that something is not what it is. <laughs> yeah, I said pretend. They like to pretend like something is not what it is. There's a union that's protected. So whatever this toxic group is doing, it's not working. Things are still moving forward. They're still trying to cause blockages. They're trying to cause, and I'm telling you, I knew this car was gonna come out. They're working hard to keep someone trapped in some type of toxic connection. Is that that person is not one of us. They're not like us, they're different from us. They won't fit in. They're not, they can't be part of us. And he said, I don't care, I like them. <laughs> Someone has found his voice. He's like, I don't care. I like that person. I've made my decision. That's who I want to work with. <laughs> and it's pissing these people off. <laughs> ah, this is like 
some uh, some Cormac having a whole speech, how she's gonna talk down about you to a masculine. The whole group, they've come up with a persuasive message. They have all the right keywords in there, and they give it to him, and he just sits there watching them, listening to them talk. And when they're all done talking, he's like, oh, I've made my decision. I'm still going with that person. <laughs> and they said, have you, have you not heard anything we said to you about this person? And the man was like, I don't care. I've made my decision. I want to go to that person. <laughs> so all that time they took getting together to make a plan on how they're going to talk to him. How they're going to persuade him, get him away from this decision to go to a star sea. He's like, I don't care. You all can do all the talking you want to. I don't care. And they're fighting him amongst himself. Because these two are still going to get together. They're still going to unite. They're still going to unite. And there's a business that's not doing too well. There's a business that's barely holding on. This could be like a coven. A cult, some type of institution is barely holding on. They may be trying to convince this masculine to get you to join them so that you two can be part of this institution. This COVID is not happening. This kind of energies cannot be in things like that. You cannot participate in things like that. You cannot participate in things like that. That's one of the easiest ways to fall from grace and then oftentimes when you come into these types of institutions the most high will destroy those institutions because one of you is worth like millions of these people the universe will do tick for tax sometimes it's that one star see a whole institution so even if they manage to get you in that institution it's going to fall apart even faster because that, that may anger the most high, your ancestors, the angels, no. Especially if someone is coming to manipulate you because no star C is going to knowingly join something like this. So it has to be done through manipulation and whether they do it straightforward through manipulation, that's going to experience an ending. It's going to fall. So if they think they're going through endings right now, they may want to think like it gets worse. Once this person is forced into something like that, it gets worse for everybody. But whoever this masculine is, he said, I'm still going. Yep, he's still going. He's committed to his call. I'm telling you, this man. This man is still committed to his cause. He said, I don't care what none of y'all said. I'm still going. He may not be saying it like that, but he already has it in his mind. He's like, I'm still going. I'm, I want to go heal. I'm sick of this mess. Now, I don't think he said mess. I heard S-H-I-T when I was saying that. He said, I'm sick of this S-H-I-T. <laughs> There's a couple of... Toxic couple that's committed to ending someone or energy, they won't be able to. This, this, I don't know if they stole something, told some type of lie, did some type of fraud. They're, they have something they're trying to hide and they don't want people seeing it. So they're very committed to hiding what it is they've done. It's exposed. Yeah, I'm telling you, he's still going. <laughs> so what a mess. This man is still going, and these people are still determined to block him from going. Like, they're going to tell every lie under the sun. They've been able to manipulate someone for a long time. And every time he tries to take action, they interfere. There's a narcissist in here. This couple, this cult, whoever this is. This toxic group, every time this man is supposed to have some type of victory, they do they interfere. Every time this star C has some type of victory, they interfere. Like they're trying to block you in every way, shape, or form because someone told a lie and they want that lie to stick. This is that someone telling people you are retarded, you're incompetent, and let's say you end up landing some type of 
you end up receiving some type of offer at a company that's very prestigious and let's say you end up on tv and it's going to expose this person that told this lie and said that you were incompetent they said what this person has a a, a a doctorate and you told us they were incompetent so every time you receive an offer someone is going in and blocking it to keep you stuck in something so then they can go and tell people i told you see they're not doing nothing with their life because they don't their brain is not able to comprehend anything else that's what all they're doing is that like someone is committed to carrying a lie on. <clears throat> human beings, some people, some human beings are wicked, 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 wicked. And they don't realize everything they do against you is really just being done against themselves. But there's a time for everything. That's how the universe works. There's time. There's a time for everything. So you, I'm telling you, there's a time for everything. So everything you do to someone, there is some type of repercussion. Nothing is left unattended to by the universe. No stone is left unturned. So someone is going through some type of awakening, realization. There's something that was said that made this man wake up, whoever he is. He may not be wanting to show himself. Maybe he's the king of pentacles. Who knows? But there's some type of epiphany a masculine had behind the scenes that revealed to him everything he needed to know. If there was any confusion in the past, this man is not confused anymore. He's going through some type of revelation, healing. He's going, awakening. Yeah, healing, but awakening to the truth. And... Whoever is about to take some type of action to block someone's victory or forward movement, they're going through an ending. It's going to be worse than you can imagine. Like this is gonna this may be like the last act that you take before you're wiped out clean. Until you trap yourself and yourself. Baby. <clears throat> It's a whole lot of worried people in here. There's a king of cups in here from someone's past. There, your past. You, you, you listen. You were in a relationship with this person. There's a king of cups from someone's past. Going through an ending. Going through an ending. Maybe fighting with people. This group may be fighting him because he lied to them. He lied to these people and now he's worried. This is someone from your past. Dang. Dang. This man. Oh, someone is so exposed. People are seeing why this man has been feeling to let something go. He's been dragging it out. Dang. I said the past and this car came out in the reverse. This is someone from your past. You could have dated this person. He's going through an ending. And it's not the kind of ending that leads to your growth. I mean, there's worth in everything we experience, but someone is going through a horrendous ending. He's burdened. Someone could be as communicated by a group. They may be laughing at him, maybe telling him, you got to go. You can't be part of us anymore. Someone, someone like befriends people to feel better about him because he's, he has some type of low self-esteem issue. He's insecure. So this is someone that will sit and gossip with you about Mary and then go and sit with Mary and gossip about you to, with Mary. Back and forth, back and forth. And he causes chaos, but he plays calm when you see him. Like he knows nothing that's going on. He 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 won't partip, participate in things like that. Someone is going through an ending. He may be losing his work. Someone may have gotten fired, having a hard time finding a job. Like I said, everything you do to someone, you best believe is going to be happening to you as well. 
he's worried about something that's about to be exposed. He's worried about losing his job, but his balance being brought. Mm. This balance being brought. If this was like below him, I would say that this is someone that's going to be in your future. You're supposed to be partnering up with. This is someone from your past. And immediately when I said past, what? This came out. This the, the death in the reverse is someone still living in the past. Someone feeling to let go. Someone refusing to heal. This is the person that's been telling all the lies. All the lies. And that's how no one will find out. Someone, oh my Lord. Listen, I'm about to, I'm telling you. Someone is going through an ending. Oh, it's not getting better for him. Dang. It, it's not getting better for this person. That all it is is that he's just he, something is over for him. Whatever victory he thought he was gonna have is not happening. He ended something for himself immediately when he took actions against you. Like immediately when he took some type of action against a star seed, it was done for him. And he's not able to recover. It's over. It's over. But someone here that could be getting put out of a home, I'm telling you, they could be getting put out of a home. Someone could be in a car accident. Someone could be dying. Someone has some type of disease. It's a whole lot going on behind the scenes. All of these people, and they're going to keep going through these endings, refusing to realize it's the actions they took against an innocent energy. So they're going to keep going through these endings. Someone can no longer cause confusion to a group of people. Even though this group is toxic, they're seeing the truth for what it is. He can no longer cause confusion. He's not receiving something he thought he was going to receive. At this, uh, uh, instead, he's going through some type of ending. Someone has made a decision to make an offer to uh, Starcy. It said, yeah, 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 I've heard it all. I've heard you all. I'm still going to that person. So they're taking actions to try to block this person. This is like, I don't know if it's like a, a wealthy man that wants to partner up with someone and they don't want him to. So they've been gatekeeping him. The, your, your, sir, your emails, your phone calls, text messages, your mail, everything is being gatekept. Maybe you don't know that, but everything is being gatekept. Like, they know everything when you breathe, how how many times you breathe per second. If you toot, how many times you toot in a day, when you wake up, when you eat breakfast, if you eat breakfast, if you don't eat breakfast, who you talk to, how long. Everything is being recorded. Your screen is being mirrored. So everything you see on your phone is being seen on someone else's phone. Everything. They're watching, they're monitoring because they don't want you communicating with someone, sending a message. So I see what you're doing. I think I see what you're doing to make things go in your favor. It was always destined to happen that way. But all of these people, they're causing blockages in their lives, trying to cause blockages between two people. And even if this go on for any longer, it's gonna get so horrible that they will actually be trying to bring these two people together because these people are going to be going through some horrendous endings. And someone is upset because the past is not interested in them. This is like a masculine wanting to come in and cause you some type of conflict that they want to be with you and you already know you don't like this person at all. You don't have any type of interest in this person. You don't want to see this person. You don't have any type of affection for this person and they're pissed off about that because they can't come in and cause you some type of confusion. It's not that they even like you. It's the fact that they want to have control over you. And because they have lost their control or 
probably probably never even had control it was just a delusion or thing in their mind that they had control over someone but they feel like they've lost control over a situation over a person and it's pissing them off never mind the fact that they're going through endings that they're not able to recover from they're more focused on you partnering up with someone new but the decision has already been made for these two people to come together so what in the world do you think you're you're about to do? I'm telling you the decision has been the decision has been made loud and clear. This masculine could be telling people I'm going anywhere. I'm telling you the decision has been made. These two people are coming together. They are going to have success together. I wanted to see what was going to come after the uh the lovers card. What was going to come after the lovers card? And it's the Ten of Cups. So these two people are still coming together. They're still going to have their empire. They're still going to have fulfillment, have the family. This is what a masculine wants. He wants to be in a happy family. He wants to be in a happy relationship. A genuine connection. Someone was very toxic in the past. Like this man, whoever this is, is going through this change. Was very toxic in the past. And being in a genuine relationship was the last thing on his list. It probably wasn't even on the list. You and someone may have had some type of uh, chaotic beginning in some way, shape, or form. Because I'm not getting that you two ever dated each other, were ever together. But he may have done something that interfered with your fourth movement. Something like that. Maybe interfere with your life, block you or something. And he's having some type of change of mind, change of heart. But just know that the people around you, <laughs> sir, there's a special place in the afterlife for these types of energy. And the only reason they're trying to block you is because they benefit from being around you money-wise. They see you as a cash cushion. You're their source of money. You you may have a lot of money. That is so deplorable to only want someone around because they're they're abundant or they're wealthy or something. That is so deplorable. That is the most deplorable thing you can think of to just be using someone. You're fixed smiling in someone's face every day just because you know you can ask them for money, they're gonna give it to you. They're not expecting it back in return because they already know you're too broke to pay it back. That's deplority, mental deplority, that's selfishness. And he may be seeing that about all of them, which is why he's still stern on moving on with his life. He's like, I know you are just using me. You don't give a crap about me. You all don't like me, you don't love me. And I don't wanna be with this woman anymore. I've made my decision. I've made my decision and it's final and I'm moving on. <laughs> I don't know why it is that you two coming together is causing chaos for these people. Maybe he's, uh, yeah, because I said something about him being toxic. He's of the dark. You're of the light. They don't want you two coming together. They see it as their COVID being tinted. Dang. Don't worry. The universe does not want this person with you all anyways. People like these are mental dismantle those kind of organizations. So the universe is not going to let this kind of energy be part of something like that. So don't worry, your coven, your coat <laughs> is free to be clear of light beams. <laughs> that is not the place for them. These are the types of people, as soon as they enter those kind of organizations, uh, people start having funny feelings and say, mm, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Before you know it, a majority of the members of the COVID don't want to be there anymore. They want to be free. They want to be free like a butterfly and fly away. And that's simply because of you being there. 
That's all it is. You don't even have to say anything. They just see how you move. And it's like, I wouldn't be like that. <laughs> and then the leaders of the courts come and say, uh, ma'am, sir, we're going to have to uh, remove you from this organization. We have to let you go. And say, what? What? Why? I haven't done anything. Yeah, we know. What they want to tell you is your presence here is a disturbance to our operation. But what they're going to tell you is we're downsizing, so we have to let some people go. Is that how many people are you letting go? And they say, oh, we're letting 500 people go. So they tell 500 people to tell you that they've lost their job. Meanwhile, you're the only one that lost your job. They're all secure because they're part of this coding. Okay? Mm-hmm. You come in there, your light is disturbing the demons within these people. They're losing money. <laughs> ah, they're losing money every time they take action against you. That's why some of these people, when they see you, they're like, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't mess with her, don't mess with him. Because the moment they come for you, they start losing everything, losing money. And some stuff they lose, they're like, how in the heck did I lose that? So, oh, surprise, surprise. Take another action against that person. Okay, we have four out here. Okay, we have one, 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 one. It sums up to four. Okay, the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. I am awakening. That man is absolutely going through an awakening. That man is going through an awakening. And it was always divinely orchestrated to be that way. Something I've been getting repeatedly is that two people, or two soulmates, they're coming from two different sides of life. And this has to do with light and dark. The masculine is coming from the dark side and the feminine is coming from the light side. They were always meant to be that, right? To be, to have that walk. Is what I mean. He was always meant to experience the darkness and you were meant to experience the light. When you two come together, right, it makes you powerful because you understand how the light side works and he understands how the dark side works. So then when people try anything, you both know what to do. Okay, you both know what to do. So by you two coming together, it is a balance of light and dark. Yang and yin, right? Hot and cold. Like this is what you two symbolize. Is you symbolize balance because the universe is big on balance. You two symbolize balance together. He is a light, I mean, he's a dark side of creation, and you are the light side of creation. When you two come together, you balance each other out. So this will be like an example when if, if you're in a relationship with this person and someone comes and try you, you're the light worker. You may, you know, disregard it because you already know how people are. But he, he may not have that. He may be that, uh, 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 don't do that again. Like he may shut them down immediately. So that's kind of what it is. The energy balance. He's the, uh, and you're like, uh, that's what that is. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, what I keep hearing is that this man is very like do, 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 do with people. But for some reason with you, and this is because you two are so twins, he's a little bit more lenient. Not a little bit, a lot more lenient with you or is going to be because you're this person's other part. Like you are the other version of this person, right? It's just that on the earth, he's into dark and you're into light. But spiritually, you are the other part. Like you two separated from source exactly at the same time. So this is what's going on, right? You're, you are a couple of balance. I don't know how to say that. You balance each other out. Like he may teach you how to be a little bit rugged because you're too kind. You're too sweet. You're too sweet nature. You heal, you're a healer. So he may try to have you, I don't, 
I don't even think so. I think he may try to even preserve you. Like he's like, I like her just the way she is. Don't change nothing about her. Let her be. If she wants to put flowers in her ears, let her put flowers in her ears. Um, if she wants to sing lullabies all day, let her sing lullabies. Cause he knows that that's who you are. That's what you're meant to do. Who you're meant to be. You're living as your truth. You're not pretending to be something you're not. So he's not going to try to temper. Uh, he's not going to try to temper that or change that, whatever. But sometimes this man may play with you, try to kind of get get to see like that gangster side come out of you. I don't know how that's going to work because you're not really a gangster. You may just be very direct, just straightforward with what you say. Honey, I'm getting a whole lot on this couple. What in the world is going on here? I feel like I'm going back and forth between these two people. <laughs> what in the world? And then I'm being told this person, even if they are wealthy, this is not something that was handed handed to him. This is something that he possibly had to build for himself. Or when he comes, you two may end up having to build some type of empire together because he may be leaving a lot behind. Maybe he's going through a divorce, so he may end up losing a lot of finances. Um, but whatever is decided during this divorce, he's not so much burdened by it. He just wants his freedom. He just wants to move on. He wants to take his power back, have charge of his life and move on so that he can connect with you and heal and build with you. That's what he's concerned about. He's not worried about the amount of money, whatever, that this union he had with this other woman accrued because he knows that someone is trying to undo him. She's trying to take him for all he's got. And he's choosing not to worry about that anymore. He's choosing to move on so he can start over brand new. And it's causing chaos for these people. Not that anybody cares. Anyways, 10 completion. Yeah, something is done. Something is absolutely done. And there's a fresh start now going on. Or oh, you two are about to have a fresh start. It said you have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenuous ideas and organize all the details. Then direct others how to carry things out. You have a great leadership skill. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenuous ideas and organize all the details. Then direct others how to carry things out. I am ingenuous. Huh. Okay. And that has to do with that business aspect that's going to come into it. You're going to be some type of really amazing leader in a company. Like an amazing leader where like no one will be there to tell you what to do. Try to make you feel less than. Like you'll have the authority to make decisions in people's lives and things like that. Okay. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.